Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Coventry. He's 25 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 82 kilos. He fights out of impact, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for David Lasota. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Bedford. He's 22 years old. Stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 83 kilos. He fights out of Eagles MMA. And tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Daniel Constantino. Okay, so bout number 12, we have Dave Loster in the blue corner. Loster wearing the white shorts. His opponent tonight, Dan Constantinou. He is wearing the black shorts in the red corner. What's at middleweight? Constantino got a lot of fans behind us as we see, but Loster comes straight in. Constantino counters with a takedown, but great hips from Loster as he comes backwards. But Constantino's pressing his man forward into the cage, and now he'll be looking to work. Really got a squeeze on at this point. As we can see here, the fans, excuse me, of Dan Constantino behind us. Really trying to get behind the man. And now he's got the mount position, and this spells trouble this early for Dave Loster. You do not want to be in that position this early on. Referee Leon Roberts just having a word saying to watch the back of the head. And Dan Constantino doing a very good job of holding Mount, not being rocked off against a very nimble opponent. And there's the reversal as I say that curse to the commentator strikes again. That was a textbook reversal from Loster from that position. Oh, I've got to be all that was awesome. He just walked up the wall like he was in a, a dance off. Lionel Richie, eat your heart out. Lock it in the guard position is Constantino. Yeah, so the pace seems to have slowed slightly as Constantino scooches his hips out to one side. Looking maybe to see if he can get through the guard of Constantino. Really locked in place there. Looking to swivel on his hips. They're going to push off and trying to isolate an arm and get a submission or stand back up and get the room. Oh, that was a beautiful sweep attempt. I think we just found a new nickname for Dave Loster, Dave the Cat Loster. How did he not go over? That's some great athleticism at that point. Locked in the guard position. Looking to push off the hips. As Constantino looking to see if he can get his legs across. But stacking his man up is Loster, and this is what he needs to do. If he can stack up and get those hands free and land a shot, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah, we can see uh, Constantino. He was looking to wind that sweep up again. He seems to be quite fond of that. And we've got around about 30 seconds left in this round. And it looks like Loster's going to finish it on top, but referee Leon Roberts... He's had enough, he's seen enough, he wants it back standing. And straight back in as Loster looking to come forward. And there's a huge shot from Constantino, doesn't quite land. as a sweeping left hook. And there it comes again. He is swinging from the rafters. And there's a takedown to finish the round. What a fantastic finish that was. That was a beautiful takedown. There was so much support there for Constantino that they didn't actually hear the bell at the end of the round. Right. Straight across again. Look at the land, that huge shot. Fair play to Lustre. He did see it coming to some respect. Constantino, though, looking to get the takedown, and he's got it. But Lustre very good on his hips if he can spin his, round, spin his position round. Double leg takedown. Doesn't Const quite get it. Constantino's got to be careful, he doesn't give his head up. Some big knees could come in here if he's not careful. Lied the way that he threw that knee there to the outside thigh, trying to isolate his man a little bit. 
I mean, Constantino looking the stronger man. He's got to land some shots to the head just to try and placate his head from that position. Constantino still searching down low for that double leg takedown. I think he's going to go for the scoop takedown from the cage wall. Hasn't quite got it. Nice sprawl from Loster. It's a very nice sprawl. But he's unable to present the takedown from that position. And now what he's got to do is make that guard work straight away. He has, he's locked in. And there's the sweep, and he's used it to sweep. Beautiful. Unbelievable, use that overhook to sweep, and now he's in the half guard, and now we can start landing down those punishments. He's got to be careful, he's not omen free yet. He's still got one leg stuck, that left leg is stuck in Constantino's closed guard. We could see a lockdown position on the guard. We could see another one of those sweeps. No, we're not going to see any of that. We're going to see him take full guard. Back to full guard. Loster looking at maybe land some strikes if he can. He's got to look to stack his man up, and that's what he's done. He's Big got to be careful of the arm. He's given the arm up. No, he's done well to get that out. And there's some strikes coming through from Loster. I think he's here, Constantino, with one of those. That was a nice armbar attempt from Constantino, but, I mean, credit where credit's due. Loster pulled out of there super fast. Constantino taking a big deep breath of air there. I'm not surprised the, uh, the pure inertia that was behind those big hooks he started the round with. I mean, Loster's been looking to do the same thing again and again and again. Stack his man up so he can land some punches. And here comes the punches. He's going to jump straight back into that guard, I think. Yeah, a bit of a mistake there from Constantino. And look he at Constantino, his hands by his sides. Loster coming in again. For Titan, there's a big shot, he's got to be careful of that. Almost went for a judo takedown, but in this he's got to be careful of not giving his back up. And there's that crucifix position. Here's my Very dangerous from here. Loster doing the right thing though, and if he's if he can isolate that arm, he could almost get his foes back from here. He could, he could get a hook in. His legs are out. That's what he needs. He needs an ankle hook to pull himself out. That's the out. end of the round. Both fighters are exhausted, but Constantino really had to drag himself up from the mat there. Mm. This third round is going to be a very testing one for both fighters. Oh, I think, yeah, we're looking at Loster. He is quite happy that stall is out. So round three of this fantastic middleweight bout between Dan Constantino and the Black Shorts. And Dave Loster, who this time hasn't ran in as he did before. No, he does look slightly more fresh. I think he's caught one low. Needs to go to a neutral corner. Referee Leon Roberts mm -hmm. telling Constantino that he also has to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, that's a bit, bit naughty, but Leon won't be having any of that. That's a bad low blow. I think Loster will be alright, but it's scan consolation right now. He's got to take his time. Referee Leon Roberts will have a quick word to address the situation with Constantino. I mean, clearly it wasn't. Very rarely is deliberate. Like you said earlier, Ben, these things do happen. Um, what can I say? Loster well, coming right back in, throwing those kicks. Constantino there, backing up. And there's that big shot. But Loster with a nice counter strike. His legs went a little bit then. They did, yeah. One of Loster throwing some nice kicks himself. Any one of those shots could end this fight in a split second. Constantino maybe feels like he's got more power and he's got the power to finish the bout. Not a lot in those kicks at the moment. He's got to be careful of leaving his chin out there. That was a bit slow on the turnaround there from Loster. Constantino took advantage of that. And plenty of time for in a world left in this round. As once again... Constantino looking to get that single leg. There's Loster raining down the hammer fists. Leon Roberts landed some... Having a word, sorry, excuse me. 
I'd be impressed if Leon Roberts was landing some shots. That would be a fight. To, that'd be, uh, that'd to be watch. a very quick evening, I imagine. <laughs> it would. Right, so we're down. Loster is on top. Hammer fisting to the side of Constantinou's head. And there's some shots coming in underneath. If Loster can pull this one out and, ki and try and keep his base, he's really got a good shot of landing and finishing this fight because his opponent's so fatigued. But from there, it looks like Constantino's got enough to complete the takedown. He has. He still had one sneaky leg caught. And from this position, Loster really knows that he's got to work. He's got around about a minute left. And he f swims his arm off, going for the arm bar, swims his legs off, excuse me. Constantino too strong, shoulders are too broad, too much control for that to work. And maybe looking over the top, see if he can get the triangle toe now. He's pushed that arm through. That's what he's got to do. We can hear the crowd behind us really getting into this one. A Const Constantino on the top, landing the shots. Referee Leon Roberts is going to have a quick look at the situation. Yeah, we've got less than 30 seconds left on the clock. You could see a stand-up, potentially. Constantino throwing those strikes, but it doesn't look like there's a lot on him. As well, there wouldn't be after 14 and a half minutes of frantic fighting. Last 10 seconds, Loster knows he's got to make something happen. If he's going to make it happen, it's got to be now. A very close fight, this. But Constantino probably shaded it on my cards. On the pure aggression, I think I'd agree. He could have ended it very early with any one of those big hooks, though. What a great show of respect from both fighters. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. And our judges have rendered a split decision. Judge number one scores the bout 29 28 La Sota. Judge number two scores the bout 29 28 Constantino. And judge number three scores the bout 30 27 in favour of your winner. From the blue corner, David La Sota. Let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Daniel Constantino.